हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एक्सटर्नल सी एस एस इन एच टी एम एल बिफोर स्टार्टिंग यू कैन नोट माई एंड्रॉयड ऐप हुज नेम इज टैक इमेज यू कैन फाइंड आउट ऑल माई वीडियोज एंड स्टडी टूटोरियल्स इन दिस ऐप सो कमिंग ऑन टू द टॉपिक विच इज एक्सटर्नल स्टाइलिंग और यू कैन से एक्सटर्नल सी एस एस so in my previous tutorials which are based on inline or internal css i have explained that there are three types of css inline internal and external so this is third type of css so first i am going to discuss the benefits of this css then i will explain an example so external style sheet uh, style sheets are ideal when the style is applied to many pages so suppose you want to apply same uh, css style on multiple pages then you have to use internal css in each page uh, if you modify a particular page then modification will not be automatically applied on another page you have to manually update all the pages so the solution of this problem is you can implement a single uh, css file separately and then you can Uh, include that css file in all the web pages so this concept is known as external css so with external style sheets you can change the look of an entire website by changing one file external styles are defined in an external css file and then linked to it uh, linked to in the head section of an html page so right now we have to use two files one for html and another for css then we have to link both the files so that the css style can be applied on html so you can see this example in this example inside head section i have implemented link tag inside link tag i have to mention name of css file through which all the styles will be applied on this html code so now we are moving to the example i have uh, implemented the code which i have uh, displayed right now in this uh, notepad++ environment so you can see this link tag uh, rel means relational relation is style sheet and href is means uh, href means hyperlink reference so that that is styles.css means this link is uh, linked with styles.css and the uh, style which is available in this file will be applied on h1 and p and rest of the tags automatically so this is dot html file name of this file is external dot html another file is styles dot css so you can see that body h1 and p three tags are defined here with uh, certain styles so there are two file one is html file and another one is css file now i am executing the code through external dot html or you can uh, also notice that here styles dot css is automatically available uh, while you will save this file so uh, both the file must be in same folder so that you can directly uh, access your css file in html code so i double click on external dot html file so it will open web browser and the contents of external dot html will be displayed and the css will be automatically applied on dot html file so you can see that this is a heading is in blue color this is a paragraph is in green color and background is in gray color so this style is available here now i am modifying this css file i have applied text align center on h1 i have saved it with control s now i am moving to web browser and i am pressing reload you can see that the heading is shifted and uh, shifted in center of the browser so i have modified external css file so the modification is automatically applied on html file now i am copying this code and i am opening a new file
and I am saving it with external 2.html name. So now we have two HTML file. This is external.html and another one is external 2.html and both are using same styles.css. So now I am going to execute external 2.html. So I have double clicked on that file. You can see that same CSS is automatically applied on this file. So this is external.html output. This is external 2.html output and both are having same CSS. Now if I modify CSS file, uh, P CSS is color green and text align is center. I have saved it. Now I am moving to web browser. So I have opened external.html and I am clicking on reload. So you can see that this is a paragraph is shifted in center. This is external2.html. I am reloading it. So you can see that it uh, this paragraph uh, automatically shifted in center. So I have changed in CSS file, but the effect has applied on both external.html and external2.html. So this is the benefit of using external CSS that if you have implemented common style in one .css file, then it can be applied on multiple HTML files or you can say multiple web pages. So this we use uh, when uh, we want to develop a website which have which which is having common uh, web pages and uh, having common styles so you can implement a single css file and that single css file can be linked with multiple html files so implement this uh, external css concept in your desktop or laptop so that you will be able to apply it uh, properly thank you for watching this video